to find 10% of 90, we need to know that 10% equals 1 tenth, and 1 tenth can be found by dividing by 10. So 10% equals 1 tenth, and you can find 1 tenth of anything by dividing by 10. So 10% of 90 is 90 divided by 10, and the answer is 9. If we want to find 30% of 90, we find 10% first, and we know 10% equals 9. Now 30% will be 3 lots of 10%. 30% is 3 times bigger than 10%. 10% is 9, so 30% of 90 will be 3 times 9, which is 27. To find 5% of 90, use the fact that you know that 10% of 90 is 9, and you should know that 5% is half of 10%. And if 10% is 9, half of 10%, then 5% is half of 10%. Half of 9 is 4.5. So your method for finding 5% is to find 10% first and half it. Let's make that dot a bit better there. We want to find 35% of 90, and we can make 35% up by having 10% plus 10% plus 10% plus 5%, or if you like, 3 times 10% and 5%. So 3 times 10% will be 30%, and then we'll add on the 5%. Now we already know that 10% equals 9, so 3 times 10% would be 3 nines, so 30% equals 3 times 9 equals 27. Our 5% is half of 9, which is 4.5, so our 35% can be found by adding 30%, which was 27, to 4.5. So 27 and 4 is 31, and then add on the 0.5. So 35% of 90 is found by working out 10% first, multiplying it by 3, brings us up to 30%, which was 27. But remember, we've got 5% also. 5% is half of 10%. Half of 10%, well, 10% was 9, and half of 9 is 4.5. And finally put your 30% and 5% together to give you 35%. 27 and 4.5 is 31.5. So 35% of 90 is 31.5. Find 45% of 800. So we'll start by finding 10%. So 10% of 800 will equal 80. Uh, we can quickly find out what 40% is. 40% will be 4 times 10%. So we need to do 4 times 80, which is 320. We've now got 40%, but we need 45%. To work out the 5%, remember 5% is half of 10%. So 5% equals a half of 80, which is 40. So finally, 45% is 40% plus 5%, so it's 320 plus 40 is 360. So 45% of 800 is 360. Find 17.5% of 500. So to do this, we need to find 10%, 5%, and 2.5%. We'll see that 10% and 5% and 2.5% come to 17.5%. So 10%, well, should, you should know by now from the previous videos, will equal 50. 5% will be half of 50, which is 25. All right, so 5% is half of 10%, so the amount we're looking at is half of 50, which is 25. And 2.5% being half of 5%, so we need to half 25 to get... 
uh, we now need, if we add all of these up, we'll get our 17.5%. So we need to add up the amounts we've already calculated. So we need to add 50 to 25. It is 75 to 12.5, which comes to 87.5. So 17.5% of 500 is 87.5.